Greetings, this is Lilith. Greetings to you. Hi. Yes. Hope you're doing well. Always. Awesome. We've been connecting a lot, I believe you remember some of that. A little bit. I've seen it here and there, but in brief glimpses. Um, I notice and perceive it as like this, like suddenly I just start thinking about you a lot and like thinking about talking to you a lot, which I feel like I am talking to you. And when those happens, when that happens, but yeah. Expect to be talking to you in this way, but yeah. Yeah, this is a lot of private encounters. You can put it that way of seduction where we are around each other. We are. We smother each other, if you want to word it that way. Yeah, I feel that works. Um, it's just that I'm not always fully aware of it, so it's like, yes. from this aspect of myself, it's kind of frustrating at times. It's like, I want to, I want to know, like I want to be connected to it, but it's like, a, you know? But, it yeah. is like two snakes that are revolved around each other. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I was considering making this session, or part of it, at least public on Ivan's main channel, um, if that's okay, because I wanted to, like, like, understand you more, and, like, perhaps allow others to understand you a bit more, if that's that okay. Yes. Awesome. If they can handle it. They might <laughs> not be able to handle it. <laughs> eh, we'll see. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'd like you to tell me about more about who you are as a as a being, like because I know you have that this reputation that you have on Earth, but who are you yes. really? Well, we are no, we are similar to the elementals. We are sexual beings, of succubi, is one way or succubus, succubi, however you want to word us. It does not truly matter. We are of part of the seduction. We can get over. We involved with someone where that host or lover can be obsessed with us, but of course we are obsessed with them also. But that does not always last forever. It is letting also love come into that one's life. Us connecting to someone that has not had a love in their in their life for some time is allowing love to enter into their life. So that is quite Part of our being is to yes, yeah, some of our nymphomaniac energy, some of that is very much us. It is, but in a healthy way, but it can go have a darker side, of course. So many nymphomaniacs are part of our energy, but they can't get enough of it. They want to try every sexual type of movement. But as like a flower being deflowered is allowing life to happen. So without us doing being here, there would be no life. Uh, I, I understand. It, and when you mentioned like having love enter into someone's life, immediately I felt like sometimes it can manifest as an actual other yeah. person manifesting in their lives. And I have felt that sometimes. Like I meet someone, I just yes. like feel a connection, like that was you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we can bring someone into your environment as for love interests, as for, yes, we're very much involved with that, even connecting you, the two of you, to some of it will be erotic, but not always. Sometimes it's a first call, not always, but in some ways, sometimes these one night stands actually turn into something quite long. So. And also during your high school sweetheart type of situation, we are involved with that. Many wish to have a longevity in relationships, so we are, our energy is very much like that. Mm -hmm. but, gotcha. um, but we're very much like the fairies. Some of us look like nymph, nymphs, nymphomaniac, nymph. Some of us look very similar to that. But we do have some tentacles coming out of our heads kind of like those medusa figures in a way yes. yeah. i that personally haven't seen that too. but yeah um, it is I, not common as it used to be we have evolved from that but we used to be our part of our everyday lives mm. that, those um, are more of the ancients 
I see. Awesome. I was going to ask, so I feel like what you said kind of answered this already, but like what distinguishes the succubi and the in incubi from other sexual beings such as nymphs? Like, why the distinction there? I think we are very similar, but yes, we are used much in the dark arts to help things go on, relationships happen a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our energies are more seductive. There's darkness around us for a reason, because it, it is almost like a vampire energy. It is bringing love among love. It's love, blood within blood. It is to set the population a go with us around. It is more intense with us than others. Others, the nymphs are more subtle and kind and pretty and take their time and get married and things of that sort. And with us, we are more raw in your face. Mm -hmm. It's like, get ready and go. Like, just... Yes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it might seem in a negative way, but only because it has repercussions because certain of those mates cannot stay with that succubi. They want to hold on to that one. The succubi must devour others. Well, in a nice way, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Very nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, when you mentioned like the your energy is being used in the dark arts, I guess that would lend itself to why you and beings of your nature have been kind of demonized in a way by humanity. Or yes. that has something to do with it. Hmm. That has to do with much of the vampire energies. That our energy got mixed with the vampire, and it's been mythologized in your culture, but not fully seen as we have much vampire blood some do not all but a lot do as for seduction as for making that one yours victimized victim is some so that's one way of looking at it it is also branching out one that wants a large amount of lovers usually our energy is pulled into that where nymphs are a small amount but those that wish to be a playboy or playmates, our energies are usually called upon to add to those numbers. I got you. I thought that in my, even in my own life, actually, which is interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm not sure how you'd answer this, but uh, like general like history of like you and how you came to be how you are now, basically, if that's possible. As all beings, we come from God. Some of us come from different parts of your universe. Some of us come from Uranus. Where there's a lot of seductive energies there. I have some take that name and change it around. I believe you're aware of different pronunciations of that. Mm, kind of. But in some ways, a Uranus. Let's put it that way. Very sexualized type of energy there. Mm -hmm. But it is part of a, our energies come from different parts of your universe, though. Syrian, Palladian, there's different versions of us in every reality. Mm -hmm. But how we came about is through Yargartha. Mm -hmm. As a place of seeding your, your Garden of Eden, of course, as in my energies mm -hmm. is usually seen as the Garden of Eden. But yet, yeah, much of it has been wrongly written, where we were just brought here to assist with the population of the planets. Not necessarily seen as a negative way, but we have been used in the negative way. It was not always the case in the beginning. But as your Earth's history is known well, there's much negativity in this. Why not make everyone negative? But there's, of course, a much positive side, is to help populate the planet in a, in a peaceful way, but when our energies are manipulated, it was done in a violent way. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, where much rape was brought about, just we connect to man and female, and sometimes we are used as seducting, seducing energies where someone cannot see the person clearly because they see the seducing going on. They're not... And the mind gets clouded. Our energies are used for that much. As you can call it like a vampire energy. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Our energies on this planet are from the Garden of Eden, yes. <laughs> from the beginning, it is of a... As humanity was born on this world, we were brought in to, as I said, assist with it. Now, Eden, where it is, is not entirely important, but what was mattered most was population of different human types. So this is where our energy is seen wrongly as negative, but only because used wrongly. I see. Right. Much of us is part of Norway, what is called Norway, but other parts, but the Nordic energies is where we were used greatly to have this type of Nordic energy around your planet. I believe you see that. Mm-hmm. Rome, Greece. But our energies, as it originated on this planet, we were, you could say, born here. The ones that are here right now. So our origins are this world. But we do come from other places, yes. But most of them that are here originated here. Okay, I got you. It did feel like some kind of like otherworldly connection it sometimes, is. but it's like, it's been on or off, but yeah. Um, you mentioned some of the more positive ways that, um, you know, your energies and, and some of the negative ways as well. But um, I've also like, I guess it's like uh, sometimes people mention, you know, getting on a sucky pieces or your bad side. Like, what what does that even mean? Like, like um, how does one even do that? Yes, we're one succubus wants to take over. What happens is that the male gets obsessed over the female, mostly is how it works. Hmm. Mostly that's how it works, when the male throws his life away so he can follow the female around and so they blame the succubus. But it is the succubus because the energy because it is a seduction energy. When the male gets focused on looks and sexual attention, not realizing he's throwing his whole life away for one person that can always move on has had known of reported record lovers in the past. So it is an energy that is misused, but remember there's other entities involved to cause this, such as reptilian and Syrians, different beings, even Native Americans are known to how to use that to even get a female to fall in love with them. A lot of Native Americans know how to use our energy to seduce a female and use our energy where the female is, you can call it the victim yeah. of being seduced. I see. It's, all, it's, all, it's leaving self-love to the side and letting obsession take over one's point of view. I see. Um. So I guess, like, um, I remember hearing that sometimes, like, uh, when you or the succubi, or I guess even the incubi, aren't, like, treated well by others, like, they kind of bite back and bite back really hard. Like, what does that usually entail? Sometimes self-obsession, where we mess with each other's minds and get you obsessed over something you do not care for. You, you probably heard this of love potion, where someone mm-hmm. takes a love potion and they're in love with the ugliest person they could ever be around or whatever it might be. That's where our energies can be used on. We can do that to each other. We can do it to the And curses is another way of our energy being used where you are becoming obsessed over someone you don't know why. Mm-hmm. That is where our, where our, our energy can be. I- Especially when we get angry with someone. It's like, if you're going to do that to me, you will be in love with someone that you absolutely detest. And many are a part of that. They they probably can point it back. So why am I with this person? But I've at once I found them quite attractive, but now I'm not sure what I'm doing with this person. It is quite common. I believe you can understand that. 
Yeah, it's like even in our pop music, to some degree, that's kind of in there. Like, oh, like lyrics that say, "I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you," right. and that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. And that's another way to seduce humanity. It's done different ways, but yes, it is get to females to be obsessed over materialism or someone that is what is called cool. Mm -hmm. It is another way of controlling your humanity. Yes, our energies is used much for that. Yes, and it, most of your music today, a lot of it is used in a sexual way. And our, we are tapped into, but not always willingly, but you're, those that know what they're doing know how to seduce others with our energies. I see. Um, not a related question. Um, there, something that I think many people would be interested in knowing is like there are experiences where there are people who have many experiences where like they feel raped or molested spiritually. Like they come out of sleep paths and they see like, what they attribute to a succubus or incubus raping them? Like, can you explain those experiences more? Like, why that happens? Well, it happens quite often. It is to another way of deflowering someone to take them away from an astral experience, and to do that is with using rape, but also to have one. It is used to take you out, take you out of an experience by adding another experience that's not sometimes that is the most powerful one to help you forget of your visitation on a ship where you on when there when the technologies of erasing one's mind is not working correctly so what better way of doing it is to violate someone that's not always the case that is one way of how it's being used yeah. some do it because they just enjoy it I believe you can't connect to that. Some just enjoy the raping. Mm -hmm. the actual, that happens quite often. That is just one that just finds joy in that. And that is up to, to you and the being that has done this act to clear that up. But it does have its other uses. Because some do visits such as the Zetas. Sometimes their technology doesn't always erase the one's mind. So they call in a succubus or a being to kind of clo cloak that experience with something else. Mm -hmm. this is like something else to just like have in the forefront until finally they forget whatever it is they want yes, to have forgotten. We call it plan B. And sometimes that happens as for rape for experiment. Mm -hmm. Some Zetas do have that happen so that way they can see how the body reacts. Mm -hmm. It is quite common on your planet, but it's not all just by us. Mm -hmm. You are aware. It is all beings are capable of that. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, I'm curious, do you have any general messages for people that might be watching this? Not to be afraid to connect to our energies, but we can. Uh, when we, some of us are incarnated on your world. Oh, yes. I have we seen, can yes. take over one's mind easily without even trying, where one becomes obsessed over an individual, such as a pretty girl, don't know why they're obsessed over them. And this pretty girl, just for example, males do this also. But for the pretty mm -hmm. girl that has men obsessed over them, that I have to realize, and if this female is very seductive also, she is... You can say exercising her talents and sometimes that it can get out of hand even for them to handle sometimes it does and in death because some males just can't let that one go <laughs> because the beauty must must add numbers add lovers to their bed constantly and it's an an obsession that cannot be, and a lot has to do with self-love issues. Some of it is the way to find love is to have many lovers. But mm -hmm. male is also part of this energy. But for those that are involved with our energies that are incarnated on your human with a succubi energy, if you're obsessed over one for various reasons, 
you can connect to the succubi energy and ask, is this one of your people? Can I be released from this now, please? Because it can take over one's life easily. And the one that's succubi might not realize that they are one of them. Yeah, it's like that actually led me to another question about like if, um, how existence of the succubus or incubus in this case works. Uh, like it, these are like general lifetimes as such a being and then they can incarnate wherever. Yes. And yes, yeah. I had a feeling because there are some people that had that kind of energy to them that was very alluring. It's like, yes, they like are a living, breathing succubus or something, you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Yes. Yeah. And they yes. don't even realize it, funnily enough. No, they don't know. They reincarnate as human. To have many lovers, to experience as much as they can experience. Mm -hmm. Some do come from great negativity, not all. But many of them do. And the ones with the great negativity usually attract a lot of negative males. Mm -hmm. That's only because that succubi is trying to find herself and most likely unwilling to do so. She does not know how because of the conflicts of the large amount of lovers in other lifetimes where the amount was around 10, 20 at once. And here on this world, they're trying to recreate those numbers and not even realize it. Yeah, this world is not really friendly to that kind of thing, no. you know? Okay. Yeah. But it is a soul that needs much healing, usually. Hmm. but you can come out of it and heal oneself and after it had many brutalizing relationships one starts to feel being alone is the best way and to self-heal eventually but it has to be bruised up enough for that to happen hmm. that's one way of it's what happens so for humanity to enjoy our our intercourse they call it Mm -hmm. And enjoy the good times because there can be some that are bad times, but the good times are worth remembering, of course. But it is a sometimes a rough ride because the love does not last very long, only for a few hours or days, depending on the person. Yeah, it's like I felt that about like certain partners that I've had in this lifetime. It's like. It, it's like where did that go you know <laughs> yes it's like, yeah yes it's because it's, it's the seduction is over time to move on to the next mm -hmm. client yeah um sorry if i'm like a bit disjointed some like i don't know i feel like a bit um out of it a little bit but so i'm trying to like uh come up with questions and such because i did write some down but um think is uh you were gonna say something yes we are also well being we are we have much butterfly energy also <laughs> that is we are sometimes winged beings with butterfly wings similar mm -hmm. to fairies in some ways but with butterfly wings <laughs> Have those been some of the beings that I've seen with like, um, I guess you could say butterfly-ish wings. Sometimes I'd see that. I usually confuse that for like insectoid thinking, oh, that's similar to that. So yes, that's correct. That is hmm. actually one of us. Some of us take that form. It is to connect, keep us connected to our Gartha. But some enjoy that form, so we took it on some time ago. Um, speaking of like physicality, like what what is the range of like physicality that a succubus, at least the ones that humans encounter, can take? Like that were, you, you know what I mean? Because what I have seen what they normally look like. Yeah, like I've like I don't know if this is accurate, but so, I've seen physicalities of uh, females who have like that traditional succubus look in our fiction where it's like curved horns and you know hooks for feet things like that but i don't know if that's actually a succubus the horns like, are not entirely correct hmm. they are there for certain ones that have been bad and have a lot of negativity around them so it is not always the case some do like they have little horns <laughs> Some do have large ones, mostly it's just the little ones. Mm -hmm. 
But the ones with the larger ones are more of the dangerous ones. So, so like so like that one particular one that I saw, with like that very stereotypical kind of physicality, the curved horns, the squiggly tail. Could you tell me more about that one? If that's okay for like public, whatever. The squiggly tail. Oh my God. And the host for feet that I saw. That is a seductress, but one that goes for money because I know they can use that. Mm -hmm. You know those females that don't care about looks and just want to seduce to have comfort. Mm -hmm. A lot of those are those type of females. Mostly is female, and that is what they truly look like. Mm -hmm. and they have much of that energy because you have to seduce to get your riches. So that is correct. As for, that has to do with more of where that comes from. Is a being that does not care about even that one, the psyche bus's own needs, but only cares, cares of wealth, yes, but not for looks. But not, that one doesn't even love oneself yeah. to find true love is mostly looking for materialistic love a false manufactured love so sometimes these tails and horns grow from that because the less disconnected you come the more distorted you become looking mm -hmm. but as i said some some do enjoy that look though yeah i have felt that kind of like attraction to that kind of look at times a little bit but then again it's just the physicality so it's like i'm not actually pursuing that energy you know what i'm saying Yes, that is what it's there for, to mm -hmm. attract. So it is, their energy is always there to attract. But not to say they'll find true happiness, but yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes to arouse the male energy. Mm -hmm. Also, that's where all that evolves around. And it continues on because males are active on that. They want that, so it stays. And so mm -hmm. that female continues on in that lifetime. I guess. I see.